The same man who idolized John Ridman, who encouraged thousands of young Irishmen to go to their slaughters in France and Belgium. But fortunately, the vast majority of the Irish people do not agree with John Bruton and his cohorts. Such was the public backlash against the government that they were forced to withdraw their shambolic video and change the plans to reflect the wishes of the people. And you, nationally minded Republican people, forced them to change their mind. And I'm proud to say that Sinn Féin also forced them to change their minds. As I said earlier, it's not good enough for us to commemorate, just to commemorate and remember. Because the work of the men and women started 100 years ago, years ago remains unfinished. They did not go out and fight and die so that corrupt politicians could line their own pockets from brown envelopes of developers and businessmen. They did not fight for a state that allows its thousands of its children to be imprisoned in industrial schools. They did not fight for a country that bails out bankers and developers while citizens are evicted from their homes and forced to carry the debt of the same bankers and those same developers. They did not die that our young people would be forced to leave their country to seek meaningful work. They did not die that our elderly would be left languishing on trolleys and hospital corridors. They did not die for a country for the haves or the have-nots. They died for a republic, a true republic. They died for independence, from foreign rule and corrupt rule. They died for the promise of the proclamation that guarantees equal rights and equal opportunities. And look at the words of the proclamation that Geraldine so vividly read out. Cherishing all the children of the nation equally. The, using the natural resources for the common good. The resources so the people and the citizens of this country can benefit equally from. Not for the Michael O'Leary's, not for the Tony O'Reilly's, not for the Dennis O'Brien's. For you, for your children, for your mothers, for your fathers, for your sisters, for your brothers. That's what they gave their life for. That you would have justice, that you would have equality, that you would have real freedom. And you cannot have real freedom and will never have real freedom while you have a system that institutionalizes inequality. And that's what this system and this country does. It institutionalizes inequality. I feel very honored and very proud to be among you here today. It's a very uplifting and enlightening position to be, to be here with such great people. And there are three people here I especially want to make a mention of. Three people who stood with me a long time ago. Mike Brown, the skipper of the Marie Dan. <laughs> Johnny McCarthy from Phoenix. <laughs> and Gavin Mortimer from, from Phoenix. <laughs> their family members are here today with them as well. And I want to say to their family members, be very proud of you, of Johnny, of Gavin, and of Mike. They were no different to the Roger Casements, to everybody that went down through, the, through this country in pursuit of freedom and justice. They put their liberty and their freedom at stake for the common good. They are true revolutionaries in the eyes of an Irish Republic. So comrades and friends, let's leave here today. Let's leave here today inspired inspired by the greatness of those great men and women that went out and fought in 1916. And just remember, on Easter Sunday night in 1916, 900 men and women only took on the might of the British Empire. And they held them for a week in the city of Dublin. They paid a huge price. Our leadership were taken out, put to the wall and put to death in order to kill the revolutionary spirit that exists on each and every one of us within our hearts. They tried to kill it by killing our leadership. They tried to kill that great vision of the proclamation by wiping out the leadership. But that vision still is there in all our hearts. And we will continue with our struggle, with the struggle of the Irish people for equality and justice. That struggle will continue while we draw breath. And until such time as we realize the vision of that republic, realize the vision of the proclamation and a real republic, then and until then, each and every one of us will give everything in our bodies to bring that about. So onwards, 
onwards to an Irish Republic to do justice to the memory and the legacy of those great men and women of 1916. Go to Margaret.